Hi, I'm Colonel Susie Scott, Deputy Commanding Officer at Madigan Army Medical Center. Ever since I was a kid, I've always been fascinated with how things work. I always want to know what's going on underneath the lid. Today we're looking at how food helps patients through the healing process. You know, being a colonel here affords me a great opportunity because I'm able to go behind the scenes to see how things work. You wouldn't believe how cool it is. Hippocrates, the father of medicine, said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. I really think my lunch could use some help. You want to come see how Madigan works? If you're in the neighborhood on a typical day around breakfast, lunch, or dinner time, you can get one of the 2,500 tasty meals the Madigan Grill Dining Hall sells for a great price every day. That's 438,000 meals a year that are sold to the visitors and staff at Madigan. The 112 military, civilian, and contract production and services staff members of the Nutrition Care Division strive to develop and provide the healthiest, tastiest, and most cost-effective food possible. Oh, hey, man. Welcome Hi. to Nutrition Care. Good to see you. Good to see you. This is Master Sergeant Daryl Baquette. He's the non-commissioned officer in charge of the Nutrition Care Division. This is an impressive operation you have down here. I'd have to agree with you, ma'am. What you see and enjoy in one of our meals is the retail side of the house, is a result of a large scale production. Just to give you a couple numbers to get an idea how much food comes through here, we use about 600 loaves of bread and 9,800 cartons of milk a month. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, definitely, ma'am. That's just part of what we do here. Our main role is to provide nutritious meals for our patients to aid in their recovery. You know, as a nurse, I absolutely appreciate the importance that uh, food and nutrition has on the health and healing of our patients. Oh, definitely, man. Let me show you how uh, we uh, produce our patient tray meals. That'd be great. We will fill orders for patients assembling the utensils, then adding food from the cold to the hot side so that it stays hotter longer for the patient. Approximately 60% of the patients are on modified diets. So we will make those parts individually. Feeding the patients the food they need in the way they need is most important. Can you give me an example of how you modify foods for a patient? Sure. So Madigan conducted a performance improvement project that identified that we should move from the national dysphagia diet to the international one. We are currently in the process of implementing that now. Since there has been little guidance on preparing these foods, we have done a lot of in-house testing to get things just right. We are the first military medical treatment facility to be putting this into practice permanently. This diet is for someone who has trouble swallowing, which can be caused by many things and it's not uncommon for people in the hospital. We know that food is a highly sensory experience and that we eat with all our senses. That means we need to make foods appealing for more than just the taste buds. If a patient who may already be dealing with the lack of appetite has a look at their tray and doesn't see anything appealing, the chances they'll eat it and get the nutrition that they need won't go down. So we puree the foods that give them the nutrition they need, but we form them back up to look and feel like regular foods, so to give them as close as normal experience as possible. That's great. Yes, it is, ma'am. And we're just in time. They're about to take the trays up. Fantastic. again. Oh, hey, man. I just watched our patients get their lunches. That's great. I got one more spot I'd like to show you. Okay. Nutrition Care is always striving for improvement. Not only go for green, but we'll go for green environment as well. We recently switched from paper and styrofoam products to more earth-friendly decombustibles. So you're always looking for ways to improve? We are. Wow, fantastic. Thank you, Master Sergeant McKett, for showing me how Nutrition Care Division works. You're welcome, ma'am. Just like nurses and doctors, we at Nutrition Care have a vital role in providing adequate nutrition for patients to ensure a speedy recovery. Thanks. Now I think I'm going to go get some lunch. And thank you for joining me today. Next time I'll show you how some other part of Madigan works.